Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to the Servant Real here on Servant King TV. Man, well, y'all know what we do, man. We sit down, we talk to the creators, the entrepreneurs, the business owners, man. Everybody that's making noise and making waves in the world. And today is no different, man. I got my big brother with me. <laughs> I got my big homie with me, Big Daryl, man. Boss, Big Daryl Thorpe Jr. And, man, we... we we got a couple of things as y'all can see we got it laid out right here so yes, we 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 got yes, um he's also he's the co-owner of uh junior media yes. uh also the co-owner of uh the knife bridge organization uh man and and i'm gonna let him dig into everything he do man i don't want to take up too much time so what's going on bro what's going on man uh thank you for having me uh first i want to shout out you man what yeah. you doing appreciate you um, bro in this city in this time man um, it's not going on notice. Uh, we love you, man. You are a brother, and appreciate what you're doing, man, with this platform. I'm just thankful to be um, in the midst of Oh, yeah, you. absolutely, man. I, and I appreciate you, man, because, you know, we didn't, we didn't have these conversations. Oh, yeah. Long time. Long, Long time. Before time. all this started, <laughs> Before man. all this, before camera. Before all this started. Yeah, yeah. So, so man. Uh, it's, where, it's, you, where you want to start? Man, look, well, f well first, look, I want to first start with, with Junior Media. and Okay. I want to I wanna touch there because... I think that what you and um Doug, shout out to Doug Bryant, yes, um the yes. other the other half of, of Junior Media. I think it's what y'all doing is so powerful. Number one, because you're trying to change the narrative of what's put out. Yes. Right? But not only that, I think what y'all doing shows something because we don't we very rarely see us work together. Yes. I was talking to somebody the other day, I'm like, bro, besides baby and slim. <laughs> we, don't even, we don't even no. like we don't have that too much like two no. you know what i'm saying two of us so let's first start with junior media how did junior media even come about okay so uh junior media came about um uh, because of the book this book right here mm -hmm. actually um we wanted to um put our experiences of how we started the came to start ninth bridge because okay. um how we came about it how it grew um, the support and we wanted to put write a book about it but the thing was we wanted ownership of everything got you mm -hmm. um when as as authors um uh, just just to drop when you're looking to uh, self-publish versus finding a, a publishing company um it can get real expensive and certain companies uh you have to sell the rights to your story. Right, okay. So you don't really so then you don't own it no more. No, you don't own it no right, more. Right, you don't own it no more. And we wanted to um own everything we did and then we didn't want to get approval mm -hmm. for our story. Right. You right. see what I'm saying? Because right. a lot of times um yeah. black uh people, uh men and women they have to compromise right. certain things to right. get stuff to put get out. Stuff put out right. And uh, right. we didn't want to go over that right. We wanted to give it all truth and how it was uh, supposed to be. Mm. So talk about how important that is, man, when it comes to ownership and, and how much we hear about it all the time. It's almost like we see it in the people that we look up to. It's like, man, you you, you, you know he's compromising something to get this push, to get yeah. You know what I'm saying? How yeah. important is ownership, man, to being ownership, able to control the narrative? Ownership, um, you know, it's, you know, right now it's different ways people uh, is, is going about ownership. Mm -hmm. But for me... It was about legacy okay. and family. You okay. understand? Okay. Um, this book right here is going to be passed down to yep. my son, mm -hmm. his kids, his and kids, kids. Yeah. his kids, so on. You know, when back in the day you went to grandma's house or whatever and, and they had this Bible that was mm -hmm. in the in that family for mm -hmm. 40, 50 years, mm -hmm. that's, what it, that's what ownership is for me. You understand? Because it's about legacy. It's about um, control and having and giving something to your seed. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like... Mm -hmm. I be a I do my son a, a disjustice if I didn't leave something for him something. in the earth. Right. You see what right. I'm saying? The pass right. down. Right. Um, it wasn't about money. It was about having something of your own. Like you say, we you know we go to these jobs. We go here. We go there. We give. We give. We give. Right. We consume. 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 But we don't own anything. Don't own nothing. You understand? Don't and own something as small as yo, I want to have my own book. So um. um media company digital mm -hmm. media company that's something mm -hmm. that man my son right now he's he's 10 years old and he's in it with me right like right. He's, he's a me. part of it right he's a part of it right so and he's 10 years old so when he get 25 
30, he know, hey, no, my dad was a business owner. Yes, right. my dad worked. He right. worked hard on his job and, and vice versa, but he's a business owner. Right. Um, so that was very important for me is for family. Right, right, you know, right. And, and, and right. pass it down through the generations. So before we get in the book, you, you, you specified digital media. Kind of talk to what, what was the, the, the thought process behind going digital like you guys didn't just do a media company yeah you guys said let's get into that digital space well that's the that's the the 21st century where mm -hmm. we at right now um everything uh how we uh, consume information it's is through digital. the internet yeah. through social yeah. media yeah. right and yeah. products you know everything right now even currency yeah. and that's a whole yeah, nother that's a whole other subject we're right. do another we're right. coming back right. for that right. one, I, got, I got set up my sleeve okay. with that one okay. but even currency you know so every information is trans transfer through so we just wanted to be a part of it stay in the know stay in the okay. um because technology is a, right. a base right. of ours. and we always behind Yes, we, we, we always, always behind. We, we always <laughs> behind. We this how it is with technology. Mm. We consume it mm -hmm. the most, but we own nothing. But you know, we we don't own anything, mm -hmm. or not just own it. We don't participate. Right. In it. Right. Right. <laughs> in, in the right. thing. Right. You know, so we right. consume it. Right. But we don't right. participate right. into right. it. Right. And that's so true because I be thinking about all the apps we got on our phones. But how many apps have you created? And it's and and I'm like. That's a field, right? Creating yes. apps, app yes. create. That's a whole field. That's a yes. whole space, a whole industry that we don't tap into. But we'll download all the apps, but we don't, like you say, we don't, we don't produce. Yeah. In the, and in speaking the of app. apps and creating apps, that goes back to education and coding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yep. We have to get our kids at a young age. Last summer, during the pandemic, I took the opportunity um, through um, a, a, a friend of mine. And he said, hey, man, um, this is, is a program that helps kids code, okay. and they can create little video games right. and stuff. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I did yeah. that with my son, and it's, it's like, yo, let's get this, this skill level into them early. Early, right. You, know, you see right. what I'm saying? All our right. kids love to play video games. Instead of, like, being consumed and the buyers, let's participate. Let's I tell participate. my son, I said, man, you can, you can create your own video game right. on the app right. or, or whatever. Right, right. So let's talk about this book. Oh, yeah. I want to talk about this book. I think that um, <laughs> they're acting like thugs, and thugs is an acronym. And I think that, man, there's so much I want to talk about. So yeah. much I want to talk about with the book. Yeah. Okay, first of all, let's go to they're acting like thugs. What was the conversation? What was going on with you and Doug at that time where y'all said, okay, we're not only going to write a book, but this is what we're going to call it, and this is what it's about. What was the... Okay, so this... Uh this book, they're acting like thug. Mm -hmm. Is it's 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 the concept of never judge a book by its cover. Okay. Right? Okay. Um, too many uh, instances we have um, black men and women are judged from afar, mm -hmm. but if you take a deep and dive of their book, they human. They, they got human. families. Right. They bleed. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. Right. was just like everybody else. Um. So we wanted to take the word thugs, and and the word thugs means two humble unique gentlemen it's on the back of the book actually yep. Yep. um so we wanted to take the anchor and flip it because the word thugs come from such a uh derogatory mm -hmm. um when you're talking about black men black boys um in in the city an urban city right right and we wanted to make it positive light so the book the name of it even the book cover uh is so uh controversy but when you open the book and read it, you'll see what we're about. Right. You see what I'm saying? So we just use that acronym and then flip it around, right. make a negative into a positive. Right. On the cover, so we got young black men just doing yeah. what now what 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 now we do. But so talk about the the responsibility it is on us, right? To 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 protect our image, though, right? Because I, I I believe it's twofold. I'm like sometimes. We give them a license almost to do stuff, but then at the same time, it's like that's still not a reason, right? Yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah, whether yeah. it's rap, whatever we participate in, is 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 we promote certain stuff, but then again, it still doesn't give anybody on the outside a right to, to judge. To to judge, right? Yeah, and you got to be careful uh, with imagery mm -hmm. and what you put out there into the world. Think about the internet. 
where I think people are realizing now is it's pros and cons to it. Yeah. And the cons to mm -hmm. it, what you put out. It's out. Get you not just out, <laughs> but it's seriously you could be in the penitentiary. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. as YouTube right, and, and right. these things and these right. imageries that people put out, man, they they going into the courtroom. Now. Right, right, and that's the evidence. And that's they, they're using that they as use evidence. evidence. Yep. You see yeah, what I'm saying? So, yeah. and you know, you know, our kids at one point, you know, flashing the guns, flashing the money. Mm -hmm. Man, something happened, you get caught up. Mm -hmm. Man, you see in trial, they, they going through your going, YouTube channel. Right, right. And that's right. like, ho, 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 Wait a minute, that wasn't that, that wasn't for that. that. <laughs> for that. You know, yeah. this just, man, we, just you know, entertainment or whatever, or whatever yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, so now, it's like, we got to be mindful what we put out because mm -hmm. what is out in the internet is forever. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not going nowhere. Yeah. You can yeah. try to delete it or no, whatever, you want but to. It's, somewhere. It's, it's somewhere it's into somewhere. that space. Yeah. So just, yeah. you know, being careful of the imagery mm -hmm. that you put yourself out there and how, you know, you want to be perceived. Also, too, man, it's, it's very important that don't let nobody else... Um, change the narrative mm -hmm. of you mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. on some most a lot of times black men and women we we stuff go out there and they change the whole narrative right instead of right. hey no this is my story this is what it was right about. right right right, right 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 now see we as we talk about ownership you got a lot of products yeah. <laughs> on the table. Um, and we've talked about this, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Product. Um, yeah. I think Master P been heavy lately on Pro yeah. product yeah, on outweighs product, talent. You, know? you ain't got to everything. You, you ain't got to be talented, That's, but if you could sell you a product. Yes, you know what I'm yes, saying? So yes, talk about moving into the, the, the product space and how that's been for you. Well, okay, so being in uh, this uh, this digital age we in, um, it's, you know, you converting your mom and pop stores mm -hmm. on the internet now. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? Right, you can right. do business, merchandise, merchandises, and for any business, it's very um, great to get into that, right? Uh, T-shirts, like the book cover I, I got on the T-shirt. Mm -hmm. You know, I got my company name on the hat. Right. Like merchandise right now is, is very easy to get in, and it's very important for your brand, your product. We got wristbands. We got the books. We got coffee got mugs. Coffee mugs. Um, <laughs> Straight up. Straight up. It ain't yeah. stopping. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't stopping. stopping. So, wristband, shirt, as yeah, you can see. Yeah, sir, he got one uh, of the Dyke Bridge the shirts for yep. the, uh, mm -hmm. the nonprofit. But, yeah, merchandise is, is very important. It's about the brand. But we in this space, man, um, in this 21st century with digital stores um, and everything. And it's so easy. You know, currency with your debit credit, even Bitcoin, right? You know, crypto. So, it's easy for transfer and it's even new and like you said um most people now you don't even have to really um go to a warehouse there's a warehouse assigned to you where you can get the merchandise out to the folks mail it out and everything so uh it's just a uh I, my my gym to everybody man if you business get you start branding get you some merchandise and put it out there boom all right hold on real quick i'm gonna edit all this part out let me go we're trying to get to the nine bread though okay cool So what I'm what I'm really excited about and I'm glad you came is about the whole ninth bridge. <laughs> ninth bridge. Um coming up on the fifth anniversary. Yes, uh August twenty fourth yep. is our fifth anniversary. Yep. Congratulations, congratulations. Thank you. Um he was at the first the first And meeting. man, so that and so <laughs> so to think back. Yes. Right. So it's it's crazy. So it is crazy. That's why I, I wanted to, I wanted to save this for the second half. So, uh, and that's another thing. Thank you and thank Doug, man, for allowing me to be a part of this. Oh um, yes. Like no, say from you, from from day one. Day one. Uh, you know, y'all <laughs> called me, man. And I was able to sit in on that. So let's take it back. Yeah, let's take it back. Twenty sixteen. Twenty sixteen. Um, twenty sixteen. I actually, I think 
during that time, me and you was talking on the phone yeah, heavy yeah, yeah. about about this, about just creating and, and, creating and, and let's be man. clear now, because we've been talking about creating for years, <laughs> way before 2016. <laughs> we was yeah. talking business, community, yeah, we talking, organization. Yeah, we, we was talking this. So yeah, we was talking, and then it came to light on mm -hmm. um, in 2016. Um, basically, man, I was I was at a point in my life where. Um, Black men, especially black men, it was hard for us to come together collectively. Mm -hmm. I felt like at the time that black women, black men, individually, they were doing great things. Mm -hmm. But collectively, mm -hmm. we missed the mark. Um, ego got involved. Jealousy got involved. Pride got involved. And we couldn't come, you know, you hear stories of, yeah, they start off good and then yep. somebody get jealous of somebody. Yeah, yeah, Somebody's yeah. prideful, yeah. ego. And what happened, you know, was we invited uh, a group of men. It was like, man, it was nothing but love. We was at a, a local restaurant here in town and we just started, me and my, uh, my partner, Doug, just started hitting up brothers that we knew. It's like, man, come, we just want to talk. We right. want to just see what's on your mind and how we can collectively come together on something. During that time, we didn't know what that something was. was right. But just the fact that black men can come together as a unit. And during 2016, that's when this, um, this, this uproar of police brutality was happening in our country. Mm -hmm. The Mike Brown situation and so other. So it was like, man, we was like infuriated yeah. um yeah. and it's like man we need to do something we need to come together because we can't keep having these um things coming let's come together on something mm -hmm. and that what happened in 2016 on april 24th 2016 mm -hmm. we right. all came together it was mm -hmm. like 20 men we had um dinner together we ate and we yeah. was there for about two three hours yeah. it's just just speaking, yeah, just right, speaking, and, right. I, and at the time, me and my pop, we just wanted to hear, and when yeah. we left, man, we were just it like, was powerful. Oh. It was powerful. It was, just it so was powerful. powerful. And and even as you as you talk about that, it's it's it was po it's it's so powerful now, even to this day, because it's almost like the only time we do get together is when somebody get killed, and that's yeah. what always bothers me, yeah. right? Yeah. It's not to justify the police or anybody yeah. of any other yeah. race killing us, but. To be honest with you, that's on the minimum scale when it comes yes. to us killing each other. Yes, you know what I mean. The number yes. ain't the number don't match. So when we when you be able to have those sessions, man, and to be able to have those groups come together, I think what y'all did was powerful. So start off because it's kind of shifted now. In these yeah, years, as far as the agendas so, and the goals, so, kind of tell us what it started as. So you know so mean? when when we started, the first thing, um, you know, like I said, we had a conversation, we uh we discussed it and. We was like, hey, what group of folks can we like show love to mm -hmm. and, and build this relation? And it was small black businesses was on our mind. And during that time, we it was a lot of black businesses here in town that wasn't up on technology because uh, technology is our you know our background. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We have a lot of guys in the technology mm -hmm. field and. So we was like, hey, we we develop a um, minority business, um, like a direct directory, mm -hmm. yes. And all the small business in town, we created a page. Um, everything was digital on the internet. People can come up there and say, hey, oh, I want to uh, shop at this boutique. I want to go to this uh, restaurant, and and so on, so on. So that's that's what it started right. with us. And we were su supporting small black businesses, and. It ain't what it was. It is right, today right, what it right. was in 2016. Right, right, you know, right, right. Like it, we always had black businesses, but right. it wasn't no, you know, it wasn't out there. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, so we right. wanted to make sure that foundation, like, bring everybody together, together in one room, in one room, mm -hmm. and, and that's what it was with the small black businesses. So, so I guess so, it's shifted now. Yes. And now the target and the kind of the the I think the foundation will always be the same community and, yes. and coming together. <laughs> But um, so, the, the agenda's kind of changed. So yeah, speak to that. So it shifted, be and it shifted because we started out having um monthly meetings, right? Mm -hmm. Um, some of the meetings you had business owners, some of the meetings you didn't have business owners. But every month we wanted to get together, right? So whether you're business owner or not, not we, you know, right, so every right. month, and we used to host them at the library. At man, we we host them all around. Yeah. Town. Whatever, <laughs> whoever had a room for us, we had a we room. My cousin yeah. had a conference room. We was there. Yeah. Um. We had we had a host of the meeting at the Rich Theater one time, mm -hmm. like like we had it at the Microsoft store, wherever we was gonna host the room, and we was gonna. So 
just by every month gathering together, we end up evolving and the other parts of Ninth Bridge, other than the accountability meetings, was uh, community and technology. technology right? And that's where we got the ACT uh, right concept. Yeah, yep, ACT, right accountability, yeah. community, and technology. and technology. And accountability is, if you, if you got a goal, mm -hmm. You come to the group, you announce your goal, mm -hmm. and we keep you accountable for that. Mm -hmm. uh, what we found out is most people got things they want to do in their lives, right. but they're not accountable. Right. So right. we connected people together and made them uh, accountability right. partners. Mm -hmm. You understand? So you could build they together. Could build together. You, know, yeah. you know, people, yeah, you can do something on your own by yourself. But if you have somebody oh, yeah. that you can build with together, yeah. it's more yeah. powerful. Yeah. One is more powerful mm -hmm. than two. Right. Um, so that's where that came. And then community, we always advocate that I don't care what it is. You, We have to give back and reach back to the community. We have to, the less fortunate, um, the ones that need the resources, we go straight to them straight and help to, has yeah. anyone need. Some, yeah. some places we hosted events. We, you know, fed the homeless. We uh, clean up um, the community mm -hmm. with the trash. Mm -hmm. Um we had a uh, back to school drives. Yep. You 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 I name remember, it. Yeah, you name yeah. it. You know so so um, so before you move on, and I want st to stick to the community because I remember in the book, you talked about. Um, that's always been a passion of yours. Yes, right? ever yeah, ever since you were in yeah, college. Yes, way yeah. back. So yeah. what's always what what's always been the drive behind that? That's been you know what I mean. What's yeah. always giving you that 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 push to so want to get back? My pat my I, I, when I discovered my passion around. 2010 you know as a young you know black african american male you come up you come at a crossroad of what you want to do in life, in life yeah you understand yeah some stuff get and, old <laughs> yeah stuff get yeah, old like, like you like, you know you did this yeah, or whatever yeah. and that's like yo what's what's my passion right so once i discovered my passion which is service <clears throat> i went back and um got my degree in human services management okay you know what i'm saying like I love helping people. Mm -hmm. You know, understand. I love mm -hmm. helping people elevate to where they want to be and aspire to be. Mm -hmm. And community, that's all that's about, man. Right. And right. it I always, even when I was young, man, I remember my, my mom uh, taking us to church, helping out. My dad also um, um, with uh, city leaders around Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. We anytime there was something was a protest or something, right, we right. was there. So bro. you came up under yeah. under that community involvement. Yes, I service. came up yeah. under that community involvement. It, it didn't matter what it was. Yeah. I seen it when I was young. Yeah. So you know that was in in me. And then when I discovered that's that's my um passion. my, my right. passion, right. my gift to the yeah. world. That's what God put in me to do. Yeah. That's when I I, yeah. I said, man, I got to do something. I got to do that. All right, so now we get to the T, which is technology. Yes, technology. Uh, my partner, um, he's big. He's a technology guy, yes. technology <laughs> guru. He will be here soon. <laughs> we won't have him on the show. And um, mm, yeah. and me and him, we just discussed because even him, um, he has a his family. Uh, it's funny. His family owned a, a a restaurant back in the day. Was very popular, and they end up going out of business. Mm -hmm. And another a reason is because they didn't they wasn't they didn't adapt to technology. Mm, right. You understand? Gotcha. And this was the shift when um debit cards was coming to right. effect right. and everything and, and, and um all types of just technology stuff for us like transactions mm -hmm. or what you need mm -hmm. for us like in mm -hmm. business. So technology always been a passion, but the number one reason is the the diversity. In technology field, mm -hmm. uh, my partner is a black man. Doug, he's a black man, and he's the less than one percent right. in the industry. Right. Wow. You know, it's not a lot of us, so it's it's hard to get our kids to go into that field because they don't know nobody in that field that looks like them. So that's another part of it is we want to reach back not just to the kids, but young men, even and even men like. Like like you said, like we said earlier, we always last always to the last. party. Right. You know, right, right. even today, our elders don't know how to operate an mm -hmm. iPhone. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> you know Absolutely. what I'm saying? Absolutely. Um, like right now, the paper is is very thin mm -hmm. right now. Everything is going technology website. So we just found out in our community is that 
the education part right you know so from social media like how to log on change your password right. simple stuff, stuff stuff like simple that stuff. you know for yeah. us it's simple because we we navigated through it but for elders mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. very hard to navigate mm -hmm. and they, you know they always mm -hmm. need help on that so we just like man we we got to focus on technology right. we got to get our people up to speed on that i'm, I'm glad you're speaking of that because it um it, it kind of goes to adaptation right because yes. things are going to change oh yeah and we just have to learn to adapt to them and you talked about well now during the summer my son don't just play games i told him how to Cold. create a game yeah. i taught them how to be behind the scene that don't mean you can't play but at least know how to yes. create right that's adapting to um nothing and, and i always have to say this each episode there's nothing wrong with college but i don't have to push college or push uh, a master's degree to no, our no. kids how it was yeah how exactly. it was pushed to us. exactly yeah. you know we pushing skills mm -hmm. however you get the skill yep we pushing the skill. Whether mm -hmm. you want to be an entrepreneur, like you said, you want to go to nursing school, you want to go um, be a, a financial advisor, mm -hmm. everything. We we pushing the the skill level for kids, and we just want to start early. Right. And we see that technology is not as diversified. Mm -hmm. Like you you will have one black person if that. <laughs> and, and my partner, mm -hmm. every job he went into technology, he was the he only black one. guy. He was the you only understand? One. So. He was the only one. A, is a cultural mm -hmm. difference with mm -hmm. that. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. when he did see another black guy, mm -hmm. it was like you get right. in the head now. Right, right. Like I see you, brother. I see you. <laughs> right, 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 right. I see you. Why? Why is it? Why is it like that? Um, because it's like it wouldn't be that way if we walked into a, a, a basketball gym. Oh no, exactly, it wouldn't be that man. way if we walked to a football field. <laughs> and, we, and we actually had a discussion. Is that it's like in the fall, man, in August. You guarantee you, you can go on the street, you can see kids playing football all mm -hmm. up and down. And we wanted to change that narrative that you don't have to be um, the football player and everything. And we found out, because we evolved, the computer guy will earn more over time than the NFL player. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You see all these shows, these mm -hmm. NFL players, and NBA mm -hmm. going broke after mm -hmm. three, four years. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. But the computer guy can have this skill let in his job for 20, 30 right. years. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's just, you know, every, we don't, you know, I, I'm, I'm, don't mind, I play sports myself, right? right. Uh, right. I came up the same way, right? Football, basketball, the whole now. Even my son, he plays sports. He plays, he's more right. towards soccer, and that, but he played those sports too, but we're not, pounding right. him in the head right. that this is his way out right it's other ways oh, out and know. that's and technology has showed us that while we was focused on getting our kids in football we should have might have been focused on hey man coding coding <laughs> Yeah. STEM. STEM. Yep. You know, and yeah. we would have did that 20 years ago yeah. in year year 2000, you know. Be a lot we would we would have diversified a little bit of the playing field. Right, right. See, in tech, now we just want to even the playing just field. Even it, right. We ain't yeah, trying yeah, to get ahead. Understand? We just want to make we it even. even the yeah, playing, yeah, playing yeah, field. Yeah. You know, and then the uh, then you get in the lack of resources and everything mm. like that. But, you know, just want to mm. jump into it early. It's crazy because we, you know, we talk about this a lot how um and 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 as parents like you said as parents you have to be intentional about it because you want to see your kids play sports like yeah. everybody want to yeah. see their son get a touchdown get yeah, my daughter yeah. get the the relay race and or whatever but we have to be intentional about saying listen you don't have to do that this yeah. is not the only way to make money the person behind the computer desk is making just as much or the person that owns that football team yeah. or basketball Owner, team yeah. is really the person exactly. who, who, who's making the money that's, that's why i ask a lot of uh you know parents and stuff because i coach you mm -hmm. sports i mm -hmm. love you know i love coaching it you right. know what I'm saying? because that gives you uh, a chance to one-on-one -on -one. Mm -hmm. and with then the kid, you know yeah. my philosophy with it yes i love the game don't don't get it twisted you know, but I love it for what it is as the game right, right then. Right, you understand? Right. I don't say, "Oh, we trying to make it to the league." Right, to, oh, right. I'm, not, I'm not finna do these hoop drills right, with right. these kids. <laughs> right, you know, hey, right. get you some other skill level. What you into? You in the video games? Mm -hmm. You like, man? Okay, look on the box. Who developed that game? Right, research. Right. You understand? Right. Find out how much they get paid to make the game. Right. Right, right, <laughs> right. Because that's the, that's the person that's really in charge. The, exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And even with that, it's like you know, you got the football players, basketball player, but look mm -hmm. at the owner. Right. How did they get in in business? Um, you know, to have a football team. Right. 
So I was um uh speaking as I was interviewing somebody a couple of days ago and we were talking about how we come up right in the neighborhood around mm-hmm. our friends and it's like we are we're automatically protective of the of the of Shorty with the jump shot. We're automatically protective of the one who can throw the football. Like we gonna protect him. You yeah. you you ain't going over there. You yeah. can't do this. Nah, you you feel me? Yeah. Or even more so, which was crazy. He brought he brought up somebody that come home from prison, and we'll throw a whole coming home party for him. Yeah. We'll we'll do anything under the sun for him. But we won't do it for the the homie coming home from college. Yeah. Or the homie that just said um. Yeah. You know, let, let, I, I want to start a business, and I I want to I want that to lead into. The business showers. I Ooh. think that's, that's becoming, um, <laughs> you know, which is one of the things I, I'm glad. Like I said, I, I believe some yes. stuff become trends, yes. but I believe this yes. is one that that's yes. good. Um, one of the first people I I seen tweet about it was Elon Musk, but I yep. believe people have been having similar conversations yeah. about it way yeah. before he tweeted yeah. it. Before he so tweeted, yeah. let's talk about business showers, and then I want to dig into how Knife Bridge is now going to incorporate the the business showers. So the business shower uh, with Knife Bridge, uh, we started this year. Actually, uh, we got regis- uh, we had registration. Um, it's with only our members. So the concept um, with the business shower is we got it from women and baby showers, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, when especially you know black women, mm-hmm. uh, when the family they get pregnant, they we throw show a baby up. shower. We right? show up. We show up. <laughs> And now so you, everything. now the baby showers are they, you know, you was at my baby yeah, shower and yeah. it ain't nothing what they right, doing now. Right, right. So they got, now they got a gender reveal and, and a baby, baby shower, showers, and they spending a lot of money on yeah. that. And I said, I said, man, what if my my brother here wanted to start his own business? Mm-hmm. Let us be that first line of resources that um he needs to help him get right, started you right, understand just right. like because that's his baby right, right? right just like a baby shower right you 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 donate in pampers milk formula for that baby to be healthy yep. be have clothes yep. food everything yep. to nourish it right yep. let's take this let's do the same thing with mm-hmm. this brother business yep. or the, you know yep. and you know it's crazy before you can see i don't want to when we do that we don't. We give so much stuff to the baby shower that the baby don't. Sometimes don't even get to use exactly all the stuff. Exactly. So imagine if we did that in a business where we yeah. uh, supply products and yeah. funding. Go ahead. Exactly. So my organization is like, hey, we got and we doing this every quarter. Mm-hmm. Every quarter of the year, mm-hmm. we gonna give out five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. You understand to our our ninth business members who want to get their business off the ground, or even some who already has business. Right. We gonna give it to them just to. You know, keep we're, it afloat. Keep, keep, it, yeah. keep them afloat. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying yeah. inventory, and it came from last year. Actually, we actually did it indirectly. Mm-hmm. One of our Ninth Bridge members, um, when the pandemic happened, he had a tough time to navigate. You know, right. everybody did, right. right? Had some type right. of navigation, mm-hmm. and um. I'm, I thank this brother for being so transparent. That's why I love this group so much because he told us like, "Hey man, I'm not doing well." Right. You understand? And we like say no more. So right. the members. We all raised money and and and, and, gave, and gave him a check like here, right. bro. You, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. And then he, bro, he re, man, God, he repaid us right. tenfold right. six months later. You right. see what I'm saying? He right. doubled what we gave him right. ten months later. So we just right. knew the power in that. So we mm-hmm. was like, man, this year we doing business showers. Mm-hmm. Anybody who want to develop, um. Uh, 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 they got a business that they I'm serious about, right? right? Yep. Or mm-hmm. if they got one, huh? Pick up five hundred dollars right. from right. Night Bridge. Right. Right. You understand? And right. we doing this every quarter. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's four quarters in a year. Right. Every three months Never we doing, doing that. Right. Look and look how big that is, man, that people can come together and say, Let me put in on this. Let me put in yeah. on that. Let me and, 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 and help support one brother who yes. then turns around and and and, and, and his thank and his thankfulness turns around and doubles. Yeah. And doubles and and he he made he he you know he came to our meeting and, and did everything. Mm-hmm. Um, but his one thing is like, man, you guys invested in me. Right. I'm investing back into right. you. Right. So he he doubled up what we all gave them. Right. And from there we was like, yo, this we got something. We are gonna take care of our people. Um, I be tired of us looking for go fund me, go fund me, and stuff like. Hey, man, we can take care of ourselves. You yeah. understand? Because yeah. it was at a time all you had was. Yeah your community yeah. to help you out on yeah. stuff. I know we got away from that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because it's oh, 
you know, I want to do me. I'm not worried about them. Man, you know what I'm saying? That that's type crazy. of mindset. Right, you know, right. Which, got, is, which just hurts us. It, yeah, exactly. Hurts Get us where we at now. So we was like, yo, it's, you know, we turned the baby shower concept and mm -hmm. said, you know, we're doing business showers. So we celebrating our brothers who got new businesses uh, coming up because we know that's going to take care of them and their family. So we mm -hmm. celebrate that, you know, just like they having a, a brand new baby. Right. It, and, and, and so, man, I, and I love it, man, because it, it takes me back. Like how you say, I hate seeing these GoFundMe's and, and yeah. all this stuff. And it's like, yeah. I'm driving down the street. I don't want to say I hate it, but you know when you're in the car and they come to with the bucket, they want yeah. some money for their jersey. They trying yeah, to take the, the football trip to so-and-so. <laughs> and so. and it's like it's too full. It's like, it's too one, full. You, te I'm, you, are, you are teaching them I don't, something. I don't, yeah, exactly. But, but I, I wish I could just give I wish I could, man, y'all get gonna, off the this, corner. Here goes this that money, go, man. This, this might sound <laughs> controversial, but I don't come from that ideology mm. of, you know, our black kids begging for money. Mm. You understand? Okay. I, I, me personally, okay. Okay. I, I, I view that when I see the kids, mm. I give them money, but I also I also drop a gem with them. But I see that standing on the corner begging for money. Mm. I say, you can't take all the parents in that park, in that association. Everybody put in five, ten bucks in that box. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't need a million we don't, dollars. We don't, we don't need, I, you know, we don't uh, need them to stand head. on the corner. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because, or yeah. stand in the front, from, in front of the public. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, and, and and go to the the white neighborhoods, mm. uh, the white, you know what I'm saying, yeah. to to solicit like that yeah. thing. I feel yeah. like, hey, yeah. we can take care of our kids. Yeah. We can send them on the trip. Hey, yeah. give us the price. Yeah. Everybody put it and in the let's pocket. Come up on it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, or go to the small black businesses. Right. You know, right. a lot of small black businesses would love to do stuff like or be a part of a stuff like of that. Stuff. They just don't get approached right. with those situations. Right. Right. And, and that's true, man. Because like I said, it's so twofold for me, man. Because it's it's like you teaching them something. They getting out here. They asking for what they need. But on the other hand, it's like, man, we got our kids out here begging. begging. Yeah, that's that's what it. That's basically what it is. And, and <laughs> it I because I would rather I would rather the kids like if even if you want to break it break it all the way down. Mm -hmm. Hey, come cut my yard. Come earn. Or wash some money. my car. Come earn some money. Yeah, come earn. Yeah, come earn. Come it, earn you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I understand yeah. for a giving, but. You know, come earn it. You yeah. know, don't just have them standing yeah. out on the corner. Yeah. Um. You know, what I'm saying soliciting for right, money. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Because I right. said, oh, you, you know, you, and they, they be out there real young right. too. Real young, <laughs> real young. Yeah. And it's so crazy because my mentor, um, in Ponte Vedra was we. I was at his house, and man, he just talked about how. Just in their neighborhood, nothing don't have to leave the neighborhood, bro. Nothing. When that, when that, nothing. <laughs> like nothing leaves the neighborhood. He's like, no, we, when, when so and so needed this, man, me and the neighbor, we got together and we, we funded this and we funded that. I'm yeah, like, man, I love and, that. And, and right now on social media, it's uh, the ideology of Black Wall Street, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you'll see the pictures, you'll see the quotes, mm -hmm. Black Wall Street. People want to get back to Black Wall Street, and then. You know, as you know, as you look back, and you know, I'm a research guy. I love to research. Look back what yeah. happened, and you see, Black Wall Street was black businesses, mm -hmm. doctors, mm -hmm. farmers, mm -hmm. um, shoe shiner, yeah. like and for that era, yeah. churches, churches, grocery stores, grocery pharmacies, store, pharmacies, and, whole and they they took care of each other, mm -hmm. and it goes to another point of how we got the most spending power. <sighs> Right, you you <laughs> you know the, we got the most spending we power, most trillion spending dollars power. a year. You understand? But the dollar don't circulate. I think, but it's a couple of hours. Right, if that, if that, if that in the in the community. So that that basically means that um, if I go to a black restaurant, uh, a business, whatever, I give him a do uh, some food. That money gone gone it don't go back into black dollars mm -hmm. back into the community mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. that's that's sad too because every other ethnic group um does that mm -hmm. chinatown mm -hmm. you got mm -hmm. chinatown on the west coast in mm -hmm. california you got this town over mm -hmm. here in new york mm -hmm. you know they got their own yeah. community where yeah. that money is circulating yeah. in their community yeah. and i was telling somebody like that's why i i, I stay away from the statistics dog because one statistic will say uh we're the least in wealth the next statistic will say we have the most spending power the next statistic will say we're under resourced neighborhood but yet every other ethnic group seems to want to put their business in our neighborhoods yeah so but that, that 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 validates the 
the stats, right? It's like we spend the most, right? Right. We don't own we don't <laughs> own, own anything, right? right? You see what I'm saying? Right. Um other ethnic groups have businesses in our the gas stations, right? The beauty and, and supply the, but stores, but their businesses are, are, are thriving, are thriving in our community, in our community. So the community, the, beauty stores, so the nails, <laughs> everything, <laughs> everything. <laughs> Yo, how many it. black nail salons are they around here? Man. How many black gas stations around here? How many black um uh uh with the beauty supply stores, right? right? right you know, so right. larger mass. Right. I I want to call out right now. I want to somebody who own a corner store. Yeah, I want to talk to if you own a corner store, if you know somebody with a corner store, please send them my way. Cause yeah. we keep we keep we, we, keep, we keep them funded. We keep them funded. We keep them funded. We keep them funded, man. And um, that's crazy. That's crazy. They 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 in our community all the time, man. The larger mass, the corner stores, but we don't get to participate into mm -hmm. their ownership. Right, you see what I'm saying? Right, and then right. you see their families there. You see their kids. The there wife in, in the business. back. The kids wife, in the back. You, you notice. You notice. All those businesses we just named, they all family businesses. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's the wife, the sister, the brother, the kids, the auntie. Like, they it keep the in laws there. is in there. Yeah. The in law, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that money circulating within the family. Mm. Then what ends up happening is um, the child, as they get old enough, they'll go open one cross town on another community, you know what I'm saying? In another black neighborhood. Another black neighborhood. <laughs> oh, another black neighborhood. So I want to I wanna go back to something, man. Definitely, I want to, as, uh, as we spoke to the book. Yeah. Um, junior Year Media. Um, you guys are tapping into a lot of things. Um, podcasts, yeah. ebooks, kind of speak yeah. to everything that you guys so, are doing in the, on yeah. that platform. Yeah. So we um we uh, we produce podcasts, um, video and audio. We got a few clients on that. Um, we got um books, um, book publishing. We um mm -hmm. we release um we have a client that just uh dropped the book in January and she um she released the book under the Junior Eater platform. We have merchandise, uh, we do the merchandise for Night Bridge, we do merchandise for um uh, another one of our clients with his podcast. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we we do merchandise. Shout out to the Blueprint. Say new to scholar. <laughs> shout out, big homie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, shout out to the uh, Blueprint podcast. But yeah, so we do we do we got our hands in a little everything. Uh, we got another project we actually working on. This a big one. I can't do, uh, disclose it right you, now. They don't we, stop working. We done signed the NDA on working. that right okay. now. Okay. Oh, oh, you know it's big. <laughs> we have to sign one of them, folks. <laughs> yeah, we just signed. So I can't uh, gotcha. uh, say gotcha. it right now, gotcha. but it's gonna it's coming okay. soon is a, okay. a huge project okay. um um out of town so we um when when that announced when that when i'm able to talk about that mm -hmm. we definitely know i'm serving right, serving right. real gonna get, yeah, that, get that exclusive um speak to the collaborations um in orlando um the oh, yeah. with route seven man i so, think that's also uh, big route seven orlando if you in the orlando area man tap in with those brothers they some good brothers um so <laughs> we have uh, we have a mutual friend that's actually from here in Jacksonville mm -hmm. that lives in Orlando. And the concept of Night Bridge, we kind of got it from him. They was okay. they were just having, it was just like two or three of brothers mm -hmm. just meeting in like restaurants and stuff. They call it accountability meetings. Okay. So we actually yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, took that concept of what they was doing from our mutual friend. And we started in here and we, <laughs> we always had... It's like we was going on the same, same yeah. like just different, mm. different, different cities, yeah, same, same destinations, yeah. right? Try to improve our people mm -hmm. and talk about um, mm -hmm. building each other, uh, sharpening each other. So it's it's Route Seven. Um, they focus more on mentorship with kids. Mm -hmm. Um, they do a a, a, a a fantastic job down there. Shout out to Gene, Devon, and the rest of them guys down there, man. They're some good brothers, man. But they were they were very welcoming. Mm -hmm. If you if you know anybody that want to just get around the light minded brothers, right, 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 right. man, tap into Route Seven Orlando. They all on your your social media, but they're some good. But we we meet up with them like quarterly. Okay. So they'll come up here and we'll um break bread with them. We do a community event mm -hmm. and then we go down there. Right. We're going actually we um. Got a date to go down there next month. Okay, man. Um, before you go, you know what I want you to speak to, and it bothers me so much because it's it's almost uh it, it comes from other people, but I I see it within us. It's like the the thought process is to be pro black, you have to be anti white. Oh, or man. to be pro black, you have to be anti everything else. And it's like, man, we you you can love all kids, but it's you got a special love. For your own kids, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. What I'm and I'm glad, I'm glad you brought that up, man. Because 
um one of our biggest allies for night bridge is a white guy mm -hmm. um his name is david mcdonald he's my friend man to the core he's our he's our financial guy yeah, yeah. this guy is a, a a financial advisor for edward jones we do these um stock investment sessions twice a year and he's a big ally for night bridge and when i told him i was starting night bridge and what it was about I told him, I said, hey, man, it's where the need. I said, man, my community needs this. Mm -hmm. Financial literacy, we do not have. Right. You know, during that time, we do not have financial literacy. Um, these guys, they don't know about investing mm -hmm. in stocks. You understand? They just mm -hmm. go to work. The job tell them, oh, you got a 401k, and that's it. And that's all they, they know. They don't, they if, don't they know. if they use that. If, if they mm -hmm. use that. Some of, mm -hmm. You know how many people didn't love so much money on the, on the table, table because of the matches and mm -hmm. everything like that they left mm -hmm. all that on the table mm -hmm. so my guy david which is a white guy he understands he said man i that's what I'm, he said i'm here for you Daryl. whatever you need and he's a real ally a night bridge a supporter um and he does we've been working with him since 2017 mm -hmm. in our investment sessions and he come with it man uh he get people their money right mm -hmm. get them invested well um, stuff so they can take care of their families and build that generational wealth. Right, absolutely. So, man, before you go first, kind of tell um, tell the people what what's in store for first junior media going uh, in the rest of 2021, and then uh, how's Knife Bridge looking? Well, um, with junior media, we got some more books coming. Um, I'm working on a cryptocurrency book. Crypto is on fire right now. Mm -hmm. Bitcoin, mm -hmm. a lot of the coins. Um, and our people, like I told, I tell, I said, man, I'm tired of being on the, the cusp of everything. I want to, I want to, I want to be on the back end. Yeah, I'm trying to be on the back end. I want to be on the cusp. Yeah. NFTs, we get in, we get into all that. So, um, we're going to write a book on okay. cryptocurrency. We got a brother who actually, man, he lived off of Bitcoin for two years. Mm -hmm. That's all he did. Mm -hmm. Like, he lived, lived off of Bitcoin. He got into it where it wasn't as popular during that right, time. Right, right, But he lived, him and his, his family, they lived off of it for two years. Mm -hmm. So, I'm um, working with him, get his stories in there. Um, my brother, Doug, he got a book he working on. Um cybersecurity technology yeah. book yeah. everything so we got we got a few books coming out um this year um we are doing a paperback of uh the book we published computer love we did that okay. last year an yep. uh, e-book okay. uh, we doing the, the, the paperback paper yeah okay. also this book is an audio book too we have an audio book yeah. of that too um but um and then on night bridge side man we just continue to build man we growing um like like i said we started with certain numbers we growing every year yep every yeah. year yeah so if yeah. you could check all that stuff out you go to nightbridge.org check out um just our organization is a non-profit uh, organization check it out um we on social media um ninth bridge jacks on ig on um, facebook ninth bridge jacks um junior year media if you interested in buying this book is a very good read you could go to juniormedia.com we got ebook we got this paperback and we got it on audio book also and if you if you're an author aspiring author you want to write we'll publish your book for you mm -hmm. check us out mm -hmm. juniormedia.com definitely man i, I thank you bro I thank, <laughs> thank you, you. Bro. i appreciate thank you, you bro, thank you for, thank you for coming through and not yes, only sir. that man what, what you and doug doing mm -hmm. man because you know um you know, prior to Doug, it, you know, you was, you always been my big brother. So for us to have those conversations, yeah, I'm talking about years before yes. <laughs> for that to happen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, having those conversations saying, man, one day we're going to do this. Yeah. And one day we're going to do that. Yeah, because man. we just knew we needed it. We needed it. And we, and, 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 and we needed it. We needed it. <laughs> so to go from 2010... Yeah, to be able to sit with y'all in 2016. Exactly. And now here we are celebrating um, five, five years. years five years. Thank you. Thank um, you, so. I think it's good, man, what y'all yeah, doing and, and what y'all represent. Like I said, just seeing two brothers. You know, I go back. I'm like, man, all I know is Baby and Slim. I don't know <laughs> two other brothers that, that, that they held it down yeah. and able to put that ego to the side. Yeah. And. And, and, and before you go, I want you to speak to this because I think y'all have a good hand on this. Mm -hmm. Role playing. I think oh. we don't understand the power of knowing your yes. role. Everybody yes. can't be, everybody can't have their hands in this. Yeah. Everybody can't have their hands in this. Everybody can't do it. Somebody got to know where they fit. Talk yeah. about that and how that's so, been successful so, for y'all. Going back, so technology is not my expertise. It's my business partner expertise. Mm -hmm. And 
community and human service is my expertise, not his. So we found our, our perfect marriage. Mm -hmm. Through these years, man, I've been knowing Doug for over 20 years, but mm -hmm. through this business thing we got, right. we got um, going here, I learned so much from him on the mm -hmm. tech side, mm -hmm. and then he learned so much from me. So mm -hmm. it's like... Yep. I'm not. I can't do what he do. He can't do what I, I do. Right. So, I I know. Hey, this is my role. Mm -hmm. I establish my role. Mm -hmm. He establishes his role. Man, let's make it do make what it, it do. Yeah. Let's, let's make it work, man. Make it work. <laughs> you know, no ego inside. No ego. Man. You know. Mm. Hey, you can have that. You can have that. <laughs> you can have that. I don't know that. I don't, I don't know, know that. that. <laughs> I don't know that. So I'm not trying that. to. You know, and you know, everybody like you said. Just play, play that, play their role, man. And it's just we bounce off. We talk every day. We communicate right. every day. Right. You know what I'm saying about right. business and stuff like that. But that's my brother, man, for real. So um, it's just good to go on this journey and just keep growing together, man. I didn't learn so much through these years, man. I'm, I'm totally different than what I was five years ago mm -hmm. when the night bridge. I didn't, man. So many people, man, and and much respect to everybody doing their thing, man. Community efforts around town, man. We, I, I, I see all of you guys, and I love what everybody is uh, trying to do out here in the community. Mm -hmm. So again, thank you, bro, um, for coming through, man. And um, I want to thank everybody for tuning in to this episode. Uh, as y'all can see, this my this my brother, man. I learned a lot from him, and I love. And you can see what he doing, him and Doug Bryant, what they doing in the community, how they trying to shift things in business, entrepreneurship, technology, accountability. They doing it all. You can see how <laughs> all the products. It's a real movement. <laughs> yeah. And um, I'm hoping that y'all y'all learned something from this episode. And uh, y'all know, like it, we'll be back next week right here on the Servant Real here on Servant King TV. Yo.